It's also great to be here with Premier Canoe, with Manitoba's Housing Minister Bernadette Smith as well. Wab, I know how important it is for you that we continue to fight every day for an economy that is fair for everyone. And that's exactly what we're doing today with a significant announcement that will protect and expand affordable housing. The affordable housing complex where we are today is multi-generational, meaning some units are for younger families and some are for seniors. I had an opportunity to sit down with Jocelyn and her girls uh, a little bit earlier, but also uh, with uh, a pair of seniors, Marlene and Lou, uh, who are talking, all of them, about how good a place this is to live, how affordable it is, but also the sense of community that happens here. Rents are affordable and a good portion of them are based on people's income. And the intergenerational connections create a strong sense of community. For families like uh, Jocelyn's, this is a good place to raise kids with peace of mind and stability. Now, this place is run by a nonprofit called the Winnipeg Housing Rehabilitation Corporation. And we need more affordable housing buildings just like this one right across the country. Unfortunately, too many of those places are under constant threat of being demolished to build condos or sold to speculators and large corporations that will increase rents at turnover. People are being priced out of their communities, and that's not okay. So we have to help nonprofits and community partners acquire units and preserve rents at a stable level. That's why we're here to announce the $1.5 billion Canada Rental Protection On va investir 1.5 milliard de dollars dans le nouveau Fonds canadien de protection des loyers. 1 milliard de dollars en prêts et 470 millions en contributions. Par exemple, si un immeuble avec des logements abordables est mis en vente, ces prêts et contributions pourraient aider à un organisme d'habitation sans but lucratif à l'acheter. En faisant ça, les organismes gardent les loyers abordables et ils peuvent réaliser les travaux nécessaires et préserver les logements et les prix à long terme. The Canada Rental Protection Fund will aim to mobilize investments and financing from the charitable sector, private sector, and other orders of government in order to maximize the ability to acquire and protect affordable housing. A good proof of concept for this initiative is the BC Rental Protection Fund in British Columbia. They recognize that for every new affordable rental home that is built in their province, four more are lost to investors, to conversions, to demolition, and to rent increases. And this is happening in communities right across the country, which is why the federal government is acting today. La semaine passée et cette semaine, on a beaucoup parlé de mesures pour le logement qui vont être dans le budget. Et on va en avoir plus à dire encore dans les, prochaines jours, dans les prochains jours. Mais ce qu'il faut retenir, c'est qu'on est là pour protéger les locataires. On est là pour construire plus de logements plus rapidement et pour construire les infrastructures nécessaires. On est là pour aider à construire des appartes avec des loyers raisonnables et abordables. Et on est là pour protéger les logements abordables qui existent déjà avec des modèles qui fonctionnent bien pour des gens à faible revenu. On travaille à chaque jour pour donner une chance équitable à chaque génération. We're fighting every day to build an economy that helps every generation get ahead, including Gen Z and millennials. Because for Canada to succeed, we need everyone to succeed.